Yo, we got some great energy this morning. Hi. I hope everyone is having a absolutely wonderful day. Hi. My mic's weird. Oh. Mm. What's weird about it? Tell me. I, I can fix it. Let me see. Testing. Testing. Too far? Too far? Hello? Good good now? Going up and down on volume? Uh, robotic? The mic is fading in and out. What? What? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, uh, it was fine. Okay, how about, how about this? H how, how this? Huh? We good, we good, we good? You say better now, but do you mean good now? You can hear my PC fan, but the, uh, they're set to super quiet. Here, let me, let me, uh, let me do a little, little of this. Okay. Yo, those are some banger, banger songs. Good morning, everybody. I'm really excited to play the game today. Let me just chuck some music on in the background. The PC fans are so loud, it's giving you an... Is that true? Are you just fucking with me, Anus? By the way, it's Anus's birthday today. Happy birthday, Anus! Hope you have a great birthday! Yo, thank you so much. Yo, Fiji Fina, thank you for the tier and happy three months. Zypher, thank you for the tier and happy three months. Froon! Welcome back, Froon! Happy tier three for nine months! Does my uh, voice sound okay? Is it too close? Too far? Does it sound gamer enough for you? You know what I'm saying? Too close? I s okay, I'll move it back. How's this trig? How's this trig? I moved it back. How, how, how's this trig? Uh, better? Uh, thank you, trig. Yo, short card. Thank you for the tier one. Larry, welcome back. Hope you're doing well, Larry. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, okay? Stefan, thank you for the tier three. Happy 17 months. Fink Pa, thank you for the tier one. Happy five. Jailer, thank you for the tier one. Happy 16 months. Batman, thank you for the tier one. Happy seven. Yo, short card, thank you. I will warn you guys ahead of time. Um. Mm, I'm on my anxiety medication again. So it's going to get a little crazy in here. The anxiety's gone. It's it's gone. It's been blasted from existence. But so will I be. <laughs> Renix, thank you for the tier three happy nine months. Thank you. What? Oh, it's just um, I had to take them because uh, I I was having an episode and uh. They just leave you a little, a little toasty after, just because, um, I, it's just brain stuff. It's just brain stuff. I was having a panic attack. My bad chat, my bad chat. It's fine. It's not my fault. No, it doesn't make you high. It just makes you more comfortable. Yo, Yuli, thank you for the tier three happy 10 months. Pogu, thank you for the tier three happy 19. Thank you, Pogu. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. It's good. I, um, I, I, see, I have weird anxiety. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, some people have, like, mental anxiety. And I have physical anxiety. So, imagine this, okay? You're just chilling. You're turbo chilling, okay? You're, like, hella chilling on a chair reading a book, okay? And then all of a sudden... Your entire body thinks that you are running 100 kilometers per hour from a, a T-Rex, okay? Your heart, like, jumps into overdrive, like, 200 beats per minute. And your brain is like, you are going to die. And you feel every, every vein in your body, you can feel at once. 
and and you're just like this all happens instantly and you're like what the fuck is going on and that's a panic attack it's nothing's wrong mentally your body is just going fucking psycho for no reason and so that's what my medication is for um some people have generalized anxiety where when they're very very stressed um it it helps um but i just i just inherited panic disorder from my family it, it's literally just your brain is fucking stupid um did something trigger no 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 uh, my whole family has panic disorder my mom my twin sister my whole family it's just okay your brain is a meat computer and when the connections don't work right it blows you up for fun randomly it has nothing to do with my life my life could be going the best possible way and i could still get them um, and, and when you couple that with like the heart stuff that I have, it spooks me for sure. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just fight or flight randomly during your day. And you're like, uh, why am I fighting or flighting? I was watching a YouTube video about uh, how, you know, like this factory and how, how they made uh, hard candies, you know, I'm not, <laughs> there's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all. But yeah, it, it's weird. It's weird. I think people, uh, I never knew I had panic attacks when I sleep, but until I really woke up with the marathon heart, because my heart thinks sleeping is hard work. Yeah, it's just your brain trolling. Like, like I think people like forget. Like, chat, your brain is just a pile of meat encased in a skull, and it controls every part of your body and how you feel. Sometimes those feelings aren't even your own. Like, it's just the sack of meat up there miscalculated some shit. And then all of a sudden, you're sad. You know? Isn't that crazy to think about? Like, you don't even really... Are your thoughts even yours? Not really. You're literally controlled by a machine. And, and it tells you, do you want to feel happy or not? There's uh, this really cool... Um, Thing I was researching recently it's a um, it's a it's um <laughs> why can't I find the word uh, oh it's um a procedure where um people who have chronic depression can sit under these little things and they get their brain zapped in specific places um, to basically reactivate those areas of their brain that are responsible for like the uptake of positive uh positive like uh what's the word i don't know why the words escape me the communicators in the brain there's a specific word for them um and apparently it's really fucking effective like like if you feel like shit your brain is probably just broken like 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 just like you can break a leg like your brain's just not functioning properly no no neurotransmitter was the word i, I was thinking of um and if you if you do this thing it, it makes your brain more susceptible to the positive neurotransmitters that will make you feel better because your brain was just not functioning properly before. Um, it's not electroshock therapy from like the fucking 1800s. It's like, um, it, it's very targeted. Uh, it's hard to explain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe that's what it is, Larry. Um, but I, I was looking into it and... I think I think I might actually like ask my doctor about it. I feel like um, it's not electro shock therapy. Don't worry, yellow card. Um, I, I think I'm gonna look into it because what's the worst that can happen, right? Uh, are you currently doing this? No, no, I want to look into doing it. Um, what's the worst that could happen, right? It can't get any worse. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard uh, I've heard a lot of people uh, had really great experiences, like it changed their life. And that uh, maybe it's just me, but I would rather like, no, 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 you don't get addicted to it. You do the procedure for like a couple weeks, I think, and then it's done. Whereas that's a lot better, I think, than a drug that you take, right? Because you can form des dependencies on those. And I, I feel like that sounds like a better solution, right? 
I think that sounds better than than taking like a antidepressant, you know. Don't ever say what's the worst can, that can happen. I mean, I know I know the worst things could happen, but I'm just saying that like if you're really struggling, it sounds kind of like like the best thing the the best thing you could try. Is it okay to just not take anything and try to tough it out on your own? So so Trig, yes yes you can do that. You can certainly just tough everything out. But something you need to know is that your brain can malfunction just like any organ. Like, like insulin, for example, okay? If you're diabetic, the, the, the places in your body responsible for the uptake and management of insulin are non-functioning. And you have to supplement that with insulin, right? Because otherwise you don't get enough insulin. Those exact processes can happen with neurotransmitters in your brain that are responsible for happiness and mood. And so you could tough it out, but like something's actually physically wrong with you. That's what, that's what clinical depression is defined by, is something is wrong with you physically and it's fixable. So toughing it out is like, yeah, I guess, yeah, tough it out, but... Um, are you going to tough out your leg is broken? Are you going to going to pick you up by the bootstraps, tape your leg back in place and just walk? <laughs> is that what you're saying, Trig? Uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I really think people should just stop thinking. No, no, mental, Trig, 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 mental stuff, mental stuff, Trig. Where does the mental stuff come from? Trig, what, where does mental come from? It comes from a slab of meat in your head. That slab of meat can be malfunctioning. It's not, I think, I really think people think that, that, that mental is just this like magical thing that exists outside of, of the physical, you know, it's like, it, it, it comes from your brain, which is just a meat computer, a juicy slab of delicious brain meat that creates your mind, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, people separate it, but it can be broken just like your leg can, bro. It's all connected. So if I'm super depressed, do I have to take meds or something? Trick it. I, that's not for me to say. What I'm saying is that if something feels wrong, then don't feel like that just has to be the status quo. That's just how it is. Well, it doesn't have to be. There are ways to handle these things and you shouldn't be afraid to, to see what the options are, you know? That's that's all. I want to know if medication is always necessary because I never want to take any. Why don't you ever want to take medication, Trick? Tell me. I'm just interested. Why is there... What What's wrong with... Like, why is medication bad? Why is any medication ever bad? You know what? We're getting into a story, Okay. It sounds scary. No, I mean, Trig. Okay, so so I think a really big one that people people skip is is anxiety and panic disorder. Um, I can't tell you how much my life was changed when I got properly diagnosed and properly fit medication for for my disorder. Like I thought that it was normal. And it isn't normal. Um, and and my life improved like significantly. So like randomly, I would be like, um, I would be like doing anything. Okay. I would be like at school or, or on the bus. How do you get diagnosed? You go to a, a doctor who refers you to a psychiatrist. Uh, and it's kind of like a dual dual thing, both your family doctor and your psychiatrist can help you. But like, so what would happen, Trig, is 
I could be doing anything random, okay? And then all of a sudden, my brain would be on fire. I would feel liquid pour down my spine. I would feel like all my veins are on fire. I would feel my heart racing a million miles per minute. I would feel pain everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? What is this shit? Uh, hello? I was freaking the fuck out. And I told my mom about it. And she explained to me that... So that's something you can't overcome on your own. So you have to take medication. Trig, so, so what it is, is my brain kicking into a gear it's not supposed to be. And the medication that I take stops it. So like, so like when I take my medication, uh, it takes like 20 seconds and it stops. It completely stops the entire process. And then I get to feel normal again. If it's a really bad one and I have to double up, sometimes the medication is annoying in terms of it makes you a little sleepy, but it was, it was, it was so difficult because I would be at work and this would happen and I'm on the fucking ground. I'm in pain. I don't know what to do. My coworkers are looking at me like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I couldn't, it was very difficult for me. It, it literally, it, it was physical panic attacks that randomly happen for no reason that I didn't ask for. And so the, the medication fixed this problem. I've been, I've been on it for, for five, six years and everything's fine. I, I, now, now when I have them, instead of thinking I'm going to fucking die, I take it and, and things go back to normal. Yeah, it, it, I, I take mine as needed. I don't take it preventatively because uh, sometimes those medications can be like addictive if you, uh, if you don't take them for too long. Um, so, so for me, it's an as needed thing, which is the healthiest way it can be, which is when I have a panic attack, I take the medication. I don't take it every day i don't take it for fun um it's just my specific disorder is panic disorder so that's why but not everybody not everybody has like like there are people with generalized anxiety that take different kinds of medications uh, Trig, i just think uh, this must be like a really new con concept for you but uh there are some things that are necessary and and make your life easier and you shouldn't be afraid of that don't you ever feel like it changes who you are um so so jibatsu i i don't like any depressants for that reason i tried one and yeah i felt like shit on it that's why i don't i don't take any antidepressants right now but i know it's all about finding the one that you need um is physical anxiety more problematic compared to mental anxiety no it's just like a different thing like um it, it's just it's just, it's hard to explain. Like, just look up panic disorder. It's just your brain, your body goes into fight or flight for fun to troll you. And you can take an as needed medication to get it to stop. That is like the easiest explanation of this thing. And so without the medication, it, it actually doesn't stop. <laughs> like what my, my options before was sit there uh, wait like 40, 50 minutes and hope that it goes away. And if it doesn't, uh, good fucking luck, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the other options are. Maybe a big drooling guard dog. How would a dog help me? How does a dog protect me from my brain exploding? <laughs> I don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that way. I, I can only speak on my experience with panic disorder, which is different from generalized anxiety disorder, depression, ADHD, or any of that stuff. I'm just saying, I have a very specific thing that's been very helpful for this. Yeah, the dog, I don't think the dog can protect me from that shit. And yeah, and ADHD, I don't have ADHD, um, as far as I know, but like, I feel like so many people bumble through life just sucking 
at everything they try to do and don't realize that they suffer from ADHD and their life could be completely changed if they were properly diagnosed and taken care of. Like Tomathan just said, like your whole life you were like trying to manage this and thinking this was normal when actually you were playing life on a hard mode. <laughs> You're playing life on what the fuck is going on mode. <laughs> But yeah, uh, just make sure you go through the, the actual, like, make sure you, you speak to uh, medical professionals and shit, bro. Like, like I think self-diagnosis can be dangerous. Um, and social media, I think, almost kind of, kind of makes it more difficult. Because people start to think that these are just, like, trends or fads and not real things. Like, for me, um, people definitely mix up feeling anxious and having physical panic attacks and anxiety disorder you know people mix that up all the time and i feel like that's why people are so skeptical when i try to explain it to them because they think i just mean oh i'm worried for my next test you know it's like no <laughs> it has nothing to do with how i think uh, No, Trey, Trey, listen, we'll have this conversation. We'll have this conversation offline. I'll help you understand, Trey. You're, I, th I, think, I think you're mixing things up and you're not quite understanding what we're saying. But we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Don't worry. It's all going to be okay. Just, you know what, chat? I don't know. How, why are we even talking about this? I forget. Anyway, uh, you know, everything's going to be okay. That's all. Are you a femboy? I'm not a femboy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a femboy. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, you need to stall for another 30 minutes. I used to know when people would list debilitating mental blockages in their profiles like they were quirky traits. Uh, yeah, I know how you feel, dude. Been one year since you introduced me to VTubers. Always brightens my day. Ah, oh, thank you, Marquis. Thank you. I don't know how at the very beginning of my streams, we always stumble into some cursed ass topics that go way too deep. And I feel bad talking about them. But uh, you know what? All I want anyone to come out of this conversation is sometimes your normal is actually like you are debuffed by like 20% and like you could you could like i don't know you could like fix that you know it's not impossible you know like some of you guys are born with a debuff <laughs> and and that's okay it's unfortunate but but it, you're not you're not meant to just suffer <laughs> you're not meant to just suffer okay it's not your fault it's fixable ugly debuff i i didn't mean anything like that what are, what are you saying what? What are you saying? Yo, Doglet, thank you for the tier one. Hurley, thank you for the 300 bits. Meryl, thank you for the prime. Happy one year. Thank you for the gifts of the time within. Beezy Pack, thank you for the tier one. Happy three months. Yeah, also, um, I woke up at 6 p.m. last night. And it is now 10 a.m. So, like, I'm just, I'm just a combination of really fucking... A, a little crazy sleep schedule going on. Um, but we're going to have a good stream today. Don't worry. Lots of scary... Um, apparently this game is scary. I don't know. Y'all are gonna help me. I'm blind as fuck. I'm sure it'll be fun. Thumb, bro. Thank you for the turtle bits. God had to debuff us lest we'd be too powerful. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Colder Pond, thank you for the seven months. Sean White, thank you for nine. Robo, thank you for nine months. Thank you. Nano Lather, thank you for the turn up before months. Yeah, sleep medica medications. Don't fuck with those guys, okay? If you can, you should try your best to manage your whole life without having to use sleep medications because those shits really fuck you up. Okay, you know what? Let's get into some science here. I love science. All right. So the really annoying shit about, about your body is that it always tries to reset itself to homeostasis, which means... It wants to put everything back to the normal levels, okay? But the problem is if your body doesn't produce enough of something and you try to supplement it, your body's like, what the fuck's going on here? We got to get back to normal. So like 
your sleeping medications, you know? Uh, say you want to take a sleeping medication and it like uh, produces more melatonin, you know, in your body. Your body will respond by saying, oh, fuck, we got all this extra melatonin. Guess we don't got to make any ever. We got all we got so many extra. Let's turn that shit off. You know, they just turn the tap off. And then so when you stop taking the sleep medication, your body doesn't have any fucking melatonin to give you. And then you're just fucked. That's how like any dependency starts is because no matter what you put in there, like when you take meth or some shit, um, the receptors it starts to bind to adapt over time to be more resistant because your body's like, damn, we have too much. We don't need what we were doing before. I guess it's fine. So that's why that's why you always get resistances to shit. And that's why long term like that kind of shit's really dangerous. Yeah, caf caffeine does the same thing. Sleeping medications do the same thing. Um, it's just scary that your body's like always trying to go back to whatever it had before, even though you're like, no, I need help. I need more of this. And they're like, the body's like, nah, fuck you, man. Let's turn this shit off. You're giving us uh, plenty. Yeah, RPG resistance leveling. It's true. It's a fucking, uh, what's that word uh, in World of Warcraft when you like cast abilities? on top of each other ah uh, what's the word ah uh, mm, it's the same thing when you like cast heal twice in league diminishing returns yeah <laughs> as if i have to relate that to fucking games bro yeah it's a diminishing return issue <laughs> damn anyway uh, what the fuck are we talking about how is everyone's day good morning good morning chat Hi, thank you for coming to a Vienna stream, a Vienna spoopy horror stream. What time is it for everybody? What time what time is it for all y'all? What what are y'all doing today? How are you how'd you get here? Overgone, thank you for the tier one. Hi cute, welcome. Seven AM, ten AM oh shit. Oh, it's ten AM for me. Ori, thank you for the one year, gamer. I appreciate that. 8 p.m. Where the fuck are you that it's 8 p.m.? Huh? Where the fuck are you that it's 8 p.m.? 16 a.m.? Huh? 16 a.m.? I, I don't I don't speak 24 digit multiple digit clock. I don't I don't speak that. I only I only know the twelve. <laughs> EST best time four PM? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. No such thing as sixteen AM. Sixteen AM would be four PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 16th, the 16 o'clock. Uh, I, I know that. I know that. Whatever number you have to add to get there. Okay, how I remember it is if it's 14 o'clock, I minus 2 to make it 12. And then I get rid of the 10 and that makes it 2 p.m. Right? Or, or, or did I do that backwards? Like 18 o'clock minus 2 is 16, which means it's 6 p.m. Okay, okay, I get y'all subtract 12. I'm not good at math. Like, physically, like, math. Math is really shit in my brain. Like, so, like, I can't subtract 12 from 18. But I can subtract 2 and then 10. So I'll always do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. That's just confusing. You did the same as me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I remember I did, um, in my first year of university, there's a calculus course you have to take and you're not allowed any calculators. So you have to pass the class with doing everything by hand, addition, subtraction, uh, complicated division, like you're talking like, uh, factoring all, everything you would do in calculus. Um, it was, it was a horrible experience, but. I re like I did relearn how to do a lot of shit, um, uh, but 
after that, I just went back to using a calculator and I barely remember anything. But yeah, like literally, it was really annoying. Now, something they did do that was nice for this is that uh, in this calculus course, they made sure that the numbers would always be good numbers. So like, you're not going to work with like crazy decimals or some stupid shit. It was all just like a process thing. So it wasn't nice, but it wasn't too hard. Your friend failed that course five times. Um, I didn't fail it. I barely scraped past it. Honestly, the course I had the biggest trouble with when I was studying, um, was, uh, it was a, a microbiology course. And when they get into the like really intense genetics and you just have to remember like every single like name for these tiny little like uh tiny little pieces that i'm trying to think of how to explain it to you guys tiny little tiny little pieces of cellular structure that like execute on other tiny pieces uh for processing dna and shit it was just like uh, okay do you guys know that um do you guys know that animation of the guy the the zipper it, it looks like a, a really swaggy like cellular dude walking on a fucking tightrope does anyone know what i'm talking about Well, like, like that's like the fun version of it, but that's, yes, yes, a kinesin protein walking on a microtubule. So like, that's kind of like the fun, fun version of what I was doing, but the actual work I was doing was like, so fucking depressing. Yeah. And, and uninteresting. I would say my favorite courses where I studied a lot of, uh, invertebrate biology um and learning and dissecting and working with like really cool invertebrates didn't even know existed was cool and then obviously like when i studied vertebrates and evolution um we did a lot of dissections um those were cool i'm trying to see if i can find like an example of what i'm talking about Let me see if I can find something that would illustrate like what I was studying and why it, why it was so depressing. Let me open, I'm going to open my old OneNote. Oh shit, what? I don't even have one on this PC. Okay, never mind. I can't open it. Anyway, do you have a monitor above my monitor? Uh, I have my monitor on the side and my monitor over here. Why prove something when it's already on paper? Are you talking about math? Did you learn about CRISPR in uni? Yeah, yeah, I learned about CRISPR. I learned about so much shit. Um, let me see here. Let me show you guys something. Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not talking about math. I'm talking about... Okay, here we go. So we're going to talk a little bit about DNA regulation. We call that the process. So a tryptophan, an amino acid, can actually act as a... Okay, I found a video that sounds really, really exciting um, about gene regulation. Uh, let me see if there's a diff one. Apparently, this one looks like it was made for babies. I'm actually... What is this? What is this? Other is translation, and that's when the <laughs> this is gene regulation for babies. That's kind of cute. No, no, not for babies. Like for babies to learn. We're now going to talk about one of the most famous opera present. 
Flaxos around, and we're going to activate our protein. Metabolize to the to. Okay, here. I'll just show you guys a small video. Of some some really fun topics in microbiology. No, this won't be an interesting video. It'll be boring. Because this this shit's boring as fuck. Sorry. I didn't mean to yell. No, microbiology is boring. Biology isn't boring. Where's my there we go. Okay, the the lack operon, all right. This is gene regulation. We're now going to talk about one of the most famous operons, and this is the lac operon, and it is part of E. coli's genome, and it is involved, and, and the lac right over here is referring to lactose. It's quiet. So you can imagine that it codes for genes involved in the metabolism of lactose. And the word lactose might already be familiar to you. It is a sugar found in milk. Some of us, including myself, are lactose intolerant. I have trouble Here, digesting the lactose. The secret to so watching these videos is to watch this. them in, in, general, for a in cell five to make times use speed. It, it needs to be able to absorb the lactose. It needs to be able to split it up into simpler sugars that it can actually use for fuel. And that is what the genes in the lac, in the lac operon actually do code for. So just as an example, the lac Z gene right over here, this codes for an enzyme that helps uh, cleave the lactose into simpler sugars. The lac Y gene codes for an enzyme that allows for the absorption of lactose through cellular membranes. Lac A is a little bit more interesting, a little less understood, but the general idea here is all three of these are involved in the metabolism and the absorption of lactose. And it is an operon, so we have our promoter here where our RNA polymerase would attach, and I've also drawn some other sites. I've drawn this the operator right over here where you can imagine a repressor, and it is indeed the lac repressor will could bind. And I'm already indeed, bored. what happens is that you have an isomer of lactose called allolactose. So if lactose is present, you're going to have also allolactose present right over here. And so that is allo Allo lactose, which can act as an inducer of transcription. And the way that it acts as an inducer is if it binds to the lac repressor, the lac repressor can no longer bind to the operator. What is he site. talking about? So He's talking about gene present, regulation. It will bind to the repressor, and then the repressor is going to leave the operator site. It's not going to be able to bind as well. And so let me draw that. So in this case, the operator, sorry, the repressor, I should say, the operator is where the repressor binds. So this is the repressor right over here. You have some. Uh, the hell you understand if you skip one third of that? I already know this. This is shit that I studied. It's so fucking boring. Nobody cares about to the this. Activator side right here, to the, it the it was just so, so boring. Less transcription. And and you have to remember every single thing you wrote here, you have to remember what it looks like, like its actual like chemical structure. Like he wrote a promoter here, but you have to know actually what it looks like, what binds to it, what it's binding to, what the purpose of all this is. Like he's simplifying this by like so ridiculously. And so when you're when you're studying these processes, you actually go like ten times more into this and it's just so boring uh yeah my degree was in uh was in zoology and this was just my least favorite class my least favorite part we're not learning biology i was just i was just trying to explain how boring the most studied operons are the trip operon and how boring this shit is <laughs> I, I don't know i can't i can't i feel like i can't properly show you how fucking boring this topic is. I was talking about lactose. Yeah, I, w I was talking about lacking some toes, bro. Um, but we could actually, you know, you know, what we could do is learn actually interesting stuff. If you guys, if you guys, if you guys are willing to wait a small amount of time, uh, there are some fun videos we could learn about that might actually you you might come out of it actually learning something interesting. Are you guys interested? I just gotta find the channel that I like. Yeah, yeah, Crash Course. One of my favorite channels. Um, They actually helped me um in astrology, or not astrology, fuck, astronomy, sorry, because I studied physics, uh, astronomy. Um, and that one was a hard course, but they had a, a banger, banger video on that. Let me see. You're such a Leo. What is it? What are you trying to say? All right, let me go to. Okay, do you guys want to learn uh, biology? What do you want to learn? Uh, 
You want to learn biology or, or astronomy? Oh, they have chemistry too. You want space? Okay, so so I I watched this entire crash course because it was actually what my um what my uh my class was on. It was pretty helpful. Um but this isn't going to be as exciting as you think because it's a lot of math. Do you guys like math? Do you guys, do you guys like math? Astronomy is all math. If you didn't know that, it's all math. Um, I, yeah, I don't think we're going to watch the um, the astronomy one. Anyway, back, back to life science. Anatomy and physiology is a fun one. Biology is a fun one. Uh... Okay. You want programming? Would you guys like like to learn about? Let me see. Oh, I love Hank. Do you guys like Hank Green? I fucking love Hank Green so much. He's my fucking hero. Air. These things are so simple for most of us that we don't give them a moment's thought, but each one of those things is oh so much more complex than it feels. Every movement you make, every one new second. day that you live to see is the result of a collection of systems working together. Quiet, to Hank Green, we're not there sure, yet. You, my friend, are a magnificent beast. You are more convoluted and prolific and polymorphously awesome than you probably even dare to think. For instance, did you know that if they were all stretched out, your intestines would be about as long as a three-story <gasps> building is tall? Really? Or that by the time you reach old age, you'll have produced enough saliva to fill more than one swimming pool. Or that you lose about two-thirds of a kilogram every year in dead skin cells, and you will lose more than 50 kilograms of them in your lifetime. Just tiny, dried-up pieces Baron. of you. Drifting around your house and setting it on your bookshelves, feeding entire colonies of dust mites. You're your own little world, and I'm here to help you get to know that. I world. love Hank Green. The body that you call a home through the twin disciplines of anatomy, the study of the structure and relationships between body parts. Hey, y'all study anatomy? The science of how those parts come together to function and keep and yeah, he's really young alive. here. Anatomy is all about what your body Okay, let's skip the history of anatomy. We don't we don't need to care about that. They comprise the science. Uh, okay, okay. Th this this is where we should start. Conglomeration of atoms, about 7 octillion of them to be precise. Fortunately for both of us here, we've covered the basics of chemistry that every incoming physiology student needs to know in crash course chemistry. So I'll be referring uh, I hope you guys listen to the chemistry. How things work at the atomic level. But the next level up from the chemistry of atoms and molecules includes the smallest units of living things. Cells. All cells have some basic functions in common, but they also vary widely in size and shape depending on their purpose. For example, one of the smallest cells in your body is the red blood cell, which measures about 5 micrometers across. Now contrast that with the single motor neuron that runs the length of your entire leg from your big toe to the bottom of your spine, about a meter from end to end. Typically, cells group with similar cells to form the next level of organization. Tissues like muscles, membranes, and cavity lines. Okay, this, this, I can gloss over this quick. Okay, yeah, so basically your body's organized in these structures. Um, the chemical level is the smallest, then you got the cellular, the tissues, the organs, organ systems, the body. So like, organs, it's like your pancreas, and the tissues are like the epithelial cells that, that make up, you know, your pancreas. And cellular are the actual, like, uh, like cells that make up the different layers of cells, and then chemical, of course, is, you know, like the atoms. So you guys all know this shit. We don't need to look at the... Oh yeah, you, this this is helpful though. Standardized set of directional terms that described where one body part is in relation to another. Yeah, yeah. The person standing in front of you. This is what is called. So when you're studying anatomy, uh, they're gonna use things like dorsal, posterior, uh, ventral, and you gotta know what they're talking about because it can be pretty confusing. So he's gonna Classic explain it. Anatomical position where the body is erect and facing straight ahead with arms at the sides and palms forward. Now imagine slicing that person into different sections or planes. Don't imagine it 
too graphically though. The sagittal plane comes down yeah. vertically and divides a body or organ in left. This is using parts. chemistry too. Imagine a plane yeah. parallel to the sagittal plane, but off to one side. That plane is the parasagittal. The coronal or frontal plane splits everything vertically into front and back, and the transverse or horizontal plane. Is this gonna be on the test? Yeah. Bottom. Look at that. It will be again, on the test. You'll notice even more divisions, like the difference between the axes. This isn't chemistry. This is this is biology, guys. This is superior. And neck and trunk the chemistry. Are axial parts, while the arms and legs or appendages are the appendicular parts that attach all right, to the right. axis. Everything in the front of your body is I feel like I feel like that's enough of an introduction. Okay, now Check tissues. Nicholas Jenkins. Oh, I skipped their it. Stomachs away from their hearts, away from their lungs. They're content to just blob around and live the simple life. But we humans, along with the rest of the multicellular animal kingdom, are substantially more complex. We're all about cell specialization and compartmentalizing our bodies. Yeah. Every cell in your body has its own specific job description related to maintaining your homeostasis. That homeostasis. Is the materials and energy that keeps you alive. And those cells are the most basic building blocks in the hierarchy of increasingly complex structures that make you what you are. We covered a lot of cell biology in Crash Course Bio, so if you haven't taken that course with us yet, or if you just want a refresher, you can go over there now. Okay. Use each with a different job. There are four tissue, tissue types. Provide us with control and communication. Muscle tissues give us movement. Epithelial tissues line our body cavities and organs and essentially cover and protect the body while connective tissues provide support. If our cells are like words, then our tissues or groups of cells are like sentences, the beginning of a language. And your journey to becoming fluent in this language of your body, your ability to read, understand, and interpret it begins today. Wow, thanks Hank Green. We needed microscopes and they Oh, I don't care about the history of histology though. Uh, you know what guys? Uh, you know what guys? I love Hank Green. Listen. I'll just come up with a lesson plan ahead of time next stream and, and I'll I'll set aside the videos we should watch and then we can all learn together. Okay? But I love these videos. Crash Course is, is a fucking godsend. I, I don't know. What do you guys need to learn? Uh, biology? Chemistry? Chemistry is more interesting. I disagree. Chemistry is fucking boring as shit. Chemistry is so boring. I hate chemistry. It's literally the fucking worst. Okay, you know what? You know what is interesting though? You know what we could look at right now? I love these videos. One second. Let me um let me change it just chatting quick. While we while we do this, we're just chatting a bit. Okay. For once, I'll put myself in just chatting, okay? For once. Y'all like Kyrg Kyrgyzstan? I love Kyr Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Why you are lonely and how to make friends? Oh my god, chat! Chat! I, 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 we need this! Friends make life good. They provide the scaffolding that makes it not just bearable, but oh, friends. a sense of meaning and purpose and are a source of security, self-esteem, and happiness. Almost nothing predicts how happy you will be as how connected you feel, and a lack of social connection is associated with a number of diseases and a shorter life. But maybe you have scrolled through your phone, unsure who to call to go to a movie with, to celebrate with, or ask for comfort. Yeah! You may realize that you don't have enough friends and feel lonely. And it's not just you. Disconnectedness and loneliness are widespread. Yeah. Many people want more close friends, but don't know how to get them. Yeah. Surprisingly, nowadays, loneliness is highest among young people, whose relationships were also hit especially hard by the global pandemic. Social distancing stopped teens and young adults from mingling in classrooms, clubs, or dorms. Millions of friendships, maybe lifelong yeah. friendships, that might have blossomed, will never exist. It's true. With profound long-term consequences for our collective happiness. 
The good news is that it's not too late, and there are lots of friends to be found. Yeah, lots of friends! We'll scientific information with actionable advice in this video, but we can't address every individual situation. People, cultures, and schedules are different. If you suffer from chronic schedules. loneliness, you can also watch the video we made about it. Okay. As with all important things in life, making friends is infuriatingly simple, but not necessarily easy. But it works through a few pretty straightforward mechanisms. You just eat them like that. The most important thing about making friends. People make friends with other people when they spend casual time together. Oh. This is how our ancestors formed their relationships, because humans lived in small, close-knit communities in which options for making friends were limited, so we just formed good relationships with the people who were around us. So you hang out. This is why it's so easy to form new friendships in school and university. Society locks you and your peers in a building for several years. You share similar activities, but more importantly, similar schedules. Overlapping and fluctuating social schedules form naturally giving you regular face time and shared experiences with many different people Time to find others with similar worldviews or senses of humor Proximity can be more important than similar interests One study found that in student dormitories the distance between rooms was the strongest friendship predictor Living closer together meant a higher chance of becoming friends Another study showed that being physically present in a class a lot without saying a word makes others more sympathetic to you. So the most important principle of making friends is to regularly spend time with people in the real world. Wait, so it said if you're in class and you never talk to anyone, they're statistically more likely to be sympathetic to you and care? I... I don't think that's true at all. Yo, Mug! Thank you for the gift sub tip, you know the best! This alone can make it happen automatically and trumps all other advice. But don't forget that making friends is not a numbers game or a competition. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone has a social calibrator that can change as you go through life. Maybe you were more introverted as a teen, but yearn for connection in your 20s. Maybe you were part of sprawling social circles, but prefer fewer friends in your 30s. Oh, it's there talking no about that right now. Wrong, only right for you. Why we don't have enough friends. Yeah, where's the our friends? For lack of friendships is the simple fact that most people don't prioritize friendships nearly enough. Okay, they... tell me what this is implying the here. Fact that All most right. People... I don't, I don't like this implication. <laughs> it's a guy with a beard playing video games, ignoring his phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, g gamers don't have any friends. Okay. Don't prioritize friendships nearly enough. They don't realize until it's too late that retaining friendships demands regular energy and attention. Shit. Although they are that so sounds like me. Happiness, friends often take a back seat to other life decisions. That's true. Work, commuting, romance, or kids take up so much time and energy that it's so much easier to crash on your couch and lose yourself in mindless activities. Yeah, Especially it is easier adult, to watch TikTok ride, instead of trying to make a friend. a hobby store takes much more mental effort and commitment than it did after school when time ran slower and energy and curiosity were abundant. It's our but it's fault! Not just adults who are too busy for friends. The average American teenager spends more time on TikTok every day than socializing at parties, events, or on the phone with friends combined. TikTok is the villain. Established friendships don't require the same time investment as early friendships to keep up, but they do require some commitment. As life distracts you, it's easy to skip out on checking in when a friend goes through exciting or depressing times. And so many friendships fade for lack of attention, often by accident. Which is extra tragic because there is never only one person losing a friend. Yo, I don't know if... I just want to say something... And I don't know if any of you guys will relate to this, okay? And maybe you will. But do you ever feel like in your friend circle or any friends that you have that you're never allowed to have problems or feel bad because, like, the other friends have all the problems and feel bad and so you feel responsible, to, like, to make them feel better and always be oh it's gonna be okay and there's it doesn't feel like you you're not allowed to to get that support you're not allowed to say those things you know 
I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, like maybe your friend can tweet how sad they are and get like a ton of support, but it doesn't feel like you can express your feelings to anyone because it just doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel like, like your friends would care. And because you're the person who's supposed to be uplifting them, like a responsibility thing, sort of. I don't know how to explain it. Not that there's anything wrong with my friends. No, no, it's not that they're negative or selfish at all. It's just that I feel, I feel like I don't, I don't, it's maybe a confidence thing or a, or a self view of insignificance, but it feels like I, I don't feel like it would make sense for me to do that. I don't know. I think my friends are great people. I think it's just me who doesn't feel comfortable trying to be open about that stuff. Because I just think, why would they care? You know, they got so much going on. I don't know. I think people, like, I just wondered if anyone else felt like that. I've never really voiced it before, but I'm just wondering if anyone else knows how I feel. Yeah, and, and, and it, it feels like you're messing stuff up by, like, uh, trying to be open about that stuff, you know? Like, like maybe they view you as the the friend that, that helps them in their situations and makes them happy and cheerful and supports them. So, like, if you if you deviate from that, then they're like, oh, God, you know, what's going on? You know, I don't know how to explain it. I feel that a little. It's not a big deal, but I feel that a little. And it's a me problem, not anyone else's problem, I think. Right. It's just a self-worth issue. You know. Um, no, my friends are great. It has nothing to do with them. It's a me. It's a me thing. I'm scared of people. It's always at least two. Another thing that makes many people vulnerable is the way friendship networks are structured. The friendship paradox is the phenomenon that on average, most people have fewer friends than their friends. Which makes sense since you're more likely to be friends with someone who has many friends than with oh, someone yeah. who has few. That's true. Like, I'm like a small friend person and I think... All my friends are, are lots of friend people, you know? And sometimes that can get lost in things, don't you think? Where it's like, you know, like, you might have five people you're close to, but to them, maybe you're like the one of the 30 people they're close to. Few. Rather than being densely interconnected, friend networks are often built around central hubs. So if central people I feel people like you have so many friends. Ah... Uh, not really. I think there are acquaintances and people I'd like to be friends with, but I just have a big mental block in hanging out with people. Um, like, for example, there's this friend that just will say, hey, you want to call? And my brain is like, you can't call. You're, you're scared. It, what if you have nothing to say? What what do you have to contribute to that conversation? And so I just try to type to them instead. Um, Because I want to help and talk about things. But I, I just, I don't know. My brain, literally, it's like a wall. My brain put up a wall against interaction. And I'm trying to beat the wall down. But, but yeah, I wouldn't say that I have that many friends. I think that I have a lot of people that know me. A lot of acquaintances. And then some people that I think are my friends. Oh, Larry, we'll play the game. Don't worry. I am an introvert. Yeah, I am an introvert. It's just, ah, uh, it's just, I never realized how much of an introvert I was until the VTuber community, because I'm just so intimidated and scared of everyone. Like, for example, a very cute VTuber DM'd me this morning and asked if we could hold hands and she's very adorable and this was clearly like her like trying to be my friend 
And I don't know what to say. I don't know where you go from there. How do I, how do I become friend from that? You know, where do you go? <laughs> How do I, <laughs> I don't know, how, how friend? <laughs> I, I think like, I, I need, I need extroverts to adopt me and show me what's okay so that I can, I can navigate it, you know? But I do have some really great friends that I've made. Uh, but yeah, it's just, there's just so many people that I would love to hang, hang out with. And my brain's just like, it won't let me. It just won't. I'm just a big introvert. I'm just scared of people. I, I'm just word vomiting. I don't, why am I telling you guys this? I don't, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Anyway, I'm an introvert. I don't know how I got here. I, I don't know how I'm a streamer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I don't know. I think I like stumbled and fell and fell into Twitch. <laughs> From your life, this can deprive you of many connections at once. And it can lead to a distorted... Oh, Horo, thank you for the 10 subs. Thank you, Horo. Although you are perfectly average. Thank it you. It can get worse quickly with big life events. Appreciate that. Maybe you move for school, work, or love, and are left with Why is this video networks. so real? Or you had a breakup that left you with a smaller part of the formerly shared social pie. The reasons why you find yourself with less connection than you want are as diverse as people, but the underlying cause is almost always time. There is no shortcut. To make new friends and retain friendships, you have to prioritize. No, oh, also, I don't mean to pause the video again, but... <clears throat> Sometimes I worry when I talk about or, or focus on topics that aren't like fun and and entertaining. Cause I, I've done lots of fun, crazy, dumb things, you know? And sometimes I'm just feeling like interesting, looking at interesting stuff. So like I know this might not be the most cheerful video we've ever watched, but I hope that's okay relationships spend time with people in real life we're just hanging and out feel that you care so take a look at yourself and rebalance what you spend your life doing how to make new friends studies have shown how? that new friendships can develop quite quickly weeks after you meet someone but it takes a few months for a casual friendship to become a close relationship with yeah. the biggest impediment being time invested and the quality of your interaction thank you danny to make friends, it helps if you intentionally look for people you have things in common with and who are open to new relationships. You want to make it easy for yourself, so examine what kind of person you are. I'm Generally a dragon. Speaking, extroverts a gamer. To sensory stimulation, spicier foods, loud music, or the excitement of engaging. I love spicy food. Introverts, often confused with shy people, tend to be more sensitive to sensory stimulants and prefer quieter surroundings, fewer people, and even less spicy food. Different Fuck you, I love spicy people. food. Not everybody can easily make friends at a bar or a football game. Not everybody finds a stroll through a park or a bookstore stimulating. Men especially form friendships around shared activities, but in general, it's a good idea to go to places that feel comfortable, where there are people you might like who do things you find interesting. Look for local clubs or you know, opportunities to volunteer. I hear Vienna's Discord has lots of like-minded friends friends that, that that you you could uh, you, you could meet <laughs> here check out what hobby stores are around and dust off your space marines I or see if there are new deals oh nano that's so sweet thank you check meet up apps for us. gaming nights or wine tasting join a sports club or look for people who go hiking or want to cook together another obvious avenue is your professional life also like they say find people who do those things. Who am I going to find that will sit there and watch me play League of Legends? You know, like, I, I, I'm not trying to find cooking people. Like, a lot of women that I meet in person are like, yeah, like, let's be friends. And then the things that they want to do are like, let's go to a concert or like, 
um let's let's make dresses like fabric work or let's um let's crochet let's uh and i just don't know how to do those things they're just not my my things i guess it's hard it's hard to meet women irl i think that really match up with what you're interested in you know i don't know i don't know how to explain it like it sounds cool it sounds cool but i i don't know it helps if you work in a job that attracts people like you so you might consider this when you choose a career deepening your relationship with colleagues can lead to great friendships especially if you look for peers and there oh. is no power in and you know what when i worked at my jobs uh when i worked at the studio when i worked at uh, cloud nine uh when i was a staff there i will say it was easy to make friends through that but when you're like a solo creator it's not it's good. It as easy to make friends. There is a person behind the avatar, which I think sometimes people lose a bit with all streamers, let alone VTubers. Oh, yo, Miss Drops, I'm glad you liked the video. It's a lot of fun. I'm sorry you had reinstalled League, though. <laughs> Thank you for the, the vids, Larry. Yeah, I, I, I just, like, um, I don't have coworkers anymore. I have peers, but it's much harder to to work with peers, I think. They're not forced in a room with you, you know? <laughs> Balance. And of course, there are friends you've lost touch with. You may be able to revive some of these relationships. In some cases, all it needs is a call or an invitation. Research shows that more often than not, the other person will appreciate that you've reached out. There are likely way more opportunities to spend time with others than you are aware of. And if there aren't, you can take the initiative and create them. Invitations are signals to start friendships. So bring people together by having a dinner party, organizing a football no, game. No, I'm still with Cloud9. I just used to work with them as staff. Everybody appreciates Two, hi, thank you for the two, three, every seven months. Can kickstart a self propelling upward spiral of well being, fun, and connectedness that can seriously improve the life of everyone around you in meaningful ways. If you meet someone you vibe with, it's pretty scary to make the first move, but they may feel the same. I used to be like really close to one of my coworkers from the previous studio, and it felt like it's impossible to keep the friendship up. I don't know why. And like, I just think, I wonder if they hate me now or think I'm an annoying, I'm annoying. But back then, I used to like consider them like one of the closest people that I know. It, it's just it's really hard to to keep like friendships from like school or work that you don't have Same anymore way. equally interested in a friendship but also blocked by fear of rejection so it's worth going for it worst case they're not interested which will sting for a few hours but the best case could be a lifelong friendship a risk well worth the reward once you've formed early connections check in whether they have important things happening in their life of course, it's important not to be overbearing, but the more time you invest, the more opportunity you have to engage in meaningful banter or silly jokes. The fact that friendships take time also means that you need to be patient and kind with yourself, Thank you, especially Griffin. if you're out of practice. Things will not improve overnight, but slowly, step by step, if you keep up. Open up, care and share. Many people don't have an issue being around others, but struggle to turn acquaintances into friends. So let's talk about two important principles that make it more likely that you'll connect. Okay, how to be friends. And sharing. Okay. In general, our favorite topic is ourselves and the things we care about because we are literally at the center of our own universe. Yeah. So people tend to like people who are genuinely interested in them. So if you want to make friends, your goal should be trying to learn what makes them tick. Just as important as caring about others is reciprocity and openness. Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't related to friends. But man, if you're like, I've had situations where like, I've, I was interested in a guy and he, he would never ask me a single question about myself. Never ask me anything. Like always talk, I'd, I'd ask questions. They always talk about themselves. But like, if you don't 
if you don't care anything about me or my life or anything that I do or anything like like you like literally like like you would ask them a question like oh so like uh what do you think of blank right and then after they say it you might expect them to say uh oh, what about you you know or like maybe they'd come up with a question to ask you but they never they never do that and then it's like what do you not just not care about me <laughs> You have no idea what to ask? Well, well, Cherry, here's the thing. You don't know what to ask, okay? It's not like a, a right or wrong answer. Ask yourself, do you want to know anything about this person? If the answer is yes, then you ask anything about the things you'd like to know about them. And if the answer is no, I don't want to know anything about them, then that's your problem. Not that you don't know what to ask. <laughs> you literally just have to take a spoon and scoop out of your brain. What do I want to know about this person? And then try to execute that. <laughs> you know, so like. Th th that's the thing. I think there's no excuse for it. I don't know what to ask. You just ask the things you think you want to know. <laughs> what do you want to know? I don't know. Like for me, like I like to, when I'm meeting a new person, um, I like to know. Yeah, I like to know what kind of music they like, what kind of shows they like, what kind of anime they like, what kind of food they like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like, you know, what, what, what do they want to be when they grew up? And, and even really deep things about their like parents or their life or like their goals, you know, how work is like. I just want to know those things about that person. And so if someone doesn't ask me anything, I just assume they don't want to know anything about me. So yeah, you just scoop out the things you want to know and then ask them. Uh, some people don't want to have to interrogate your interest. The default for them is that you share if you want to. Um, it's not an interrogation is Sherry. Um, it's, it's a give and take, right? Like, uh, I, conversations aren't word vomiting back and forth. It's, it's productive two way conversation. Um, I, I really think that's a really toxic way to think that the default shouldn't be if they want me to know, they'll tell me the default should be. If I want to know, I'll ask. Because, because like they can't assume what you want to hear, or they can't assume, you know, like 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 you gotta put your foot out, you gotta put effort in, you know, you gotta put the effort in. You can't just be like, like for example, it's as simple as asking someone how their day went. You know, do you think that? Do you think that it should be if they wanted to tell me about their day, they should just tell me? But asking someone about their day can mean a lot to them. It means you cared about their day, right? Um, means you cared to know. If you never ask, they'll just think you don't care and they'll stop telling you. Little guy, stop scratching at the door. I got a little guy. Okay. Yeah, like your bionicle collection. Exactly. I'm really bad at assuming if they wanted to tell me they would. I keep hearing this. I keep hearing this, guys. It's not it, it's not like that. They don't want to just spill their entire life at you. They want to talk to you about things you're interested in and and they want you to be interested in them. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I just think it's got to be a give and take and try to put effort into these discussions and, and asking people and learning people about people. It goes a long way, I think. How was my morning? It was great. Saito, thank you for the two, three, happy one year. Zachor, see, this is because people aren't asking you. Zachor, if someone asked you, 
Hey, Zachor, how was your day? They really, they do mean it, you know? Anyway, uh, that was just a pet peeve I wanted to talk about. It was like, Vienna, uh, you have some Red Bull today? No, I, no, I didn't. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Blue Mage, thank you for the prime. Have a two months. Just, just the tilting thing. Like, like, okay, say someone asked you, um, uh, okay, say you just finished, like, a movie, okay? You watched with them, and you're like, so what did you think of the movie, you know? Or, like, did you like the main character? Or, like, uh, did you like the ending? And then all you do is you answer all of those things and then move on from the conversation. Is that person supposed to, like, like, they asked you because they, they're interested in what you have to say. If you don't ask them anything back, it kind of shows you're not interested in what they have to say. That's all. What's my biggest pet peeve? In what? Uh, that's too broad. Pet peeve in, in everything? To connect, you need to share the experiences that made you, you. Now, you don't want to overwhelm the other person and... Crazy, thank you for the prime! Secrets, but open up a little and reveal personal things, because this also signals to others that it's okay to do the same. The best case is that you find shared experiences. Maybe you both had a hard time in school. Oh. Maybe you share... My biggest pet peeve. Yeah, I do have an answer for that. Uh, in, in relationships or friendships, I've mostly found this with men. I'm sorry, men. I don't know why. It, okay, here it is. You send three text messages, okay? They have three different topics and each of them is important. The, the, the man will read one of them and reply and ignore the others. And, and act like nothing happened. It could be like, oh, hey, when is your thing due? Oh, and don't forget to bring blank home. And uh, have you seen blank? And they'll be like, okay, I won't forget to bring the ham. And it's just like, should I just, like, are you going to make me ask the other two things again? Just read the fucking messages and answer them all. <laughs> It's so annoying. I don't know why. I don't know why people do that, bro. It's so annoying. One thing at a time. Sure, sure. You want to do one at a time? Answer the one thing. Then answer the next thing. Then answer the third thing. How about that? Don't just pretend I didn't even say anything. Don't just pretend those messages didn't even exist. It's... <laughs> It's so annoying. I hate that shit. I hate it so much. It, it, it doesn't even have to be something overwhelming. It could be like, when do you get off work? And uh, did you feed the cat today? And they'll reply, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock what? 8 o'clock you fed the cat? 8 o'clock you get off work? 8 o'clock? I'm going to lose it. A.M. P.M. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so fucking annoying. Why do people do that? <laughs> Why do people do that? Oh, shit. How can you balance between showing interest and checking if you're annoying them? It makes me psych myself out and decide to never start conversations and uh, just let someone else a message first. Since then I don't have to worry if they wanted to talk to me if they went first. I, I think that there's an issue with okay so imagine you have two people who are worried about annoying the, the other they will never reach out to each other and then people will think neither of them like each other when the reality is they're both feeling the same thing and secondly thinking that you're annoying people like i honestly think you should just be yourself and and do whatever it is and if they're you're annoying them they'll tell you or they will they will just obviously like they'll never answer you if they're annoyed or they'll block you or some shit like i don't think you should pre-prepare for the possibility that you're annoying someone if it's someone that's your friend and that you communicate with because i think i've i have actually found that some people like damage their own 
ability to have friends because of how little they believe that their friends are their friends. Like, like they'll constantly think they're annoying. They'll constantly think they're causing trouble. They'll always think they're a burden and it actually like prevents them from, from enjoying friendships or participating in things because they're, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a self focus in a negative way. Like you're, you're obsessed with how low you think of yourself that it, it like swirls the whole world around that view and you're incapable of seeing people and how they actually view you. It's so difficult. Like, I, I really think just go, just, if you want to reach out to someone, do it. Well, the worst thing that could happen is they don't answer you. And guess what? If you're annoying them, what's the consequence? Like you, you can't live your life tiptoeing around someone. Like they're your friend and you're like, oh, they're only my friend if I contact them like once per week and, and it has to only be these topics and, and I got to make sure I don't double message them because then they'll hate me. Like that's not really a friend. Like just, just do, do you. And if it doesn't work, they'll tell you. And that's fine if it doesn't work, you know, just, and speaking from my own experience, Larry, if you message me, I'm not going to be annoyed. If you message Trig, no one's going to be annoyed. If you said, hey, Trig, let's play League, he's not going to think you're annoying, bro. Like, we're all adults. We can communicate and say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm busy. I might take a bit to reply. And I, I do that. I don't know. Bruh, just go for it. We're adults, man. We can handle, we can handle ourselves, right? We can handle a little little of the talky talky saying, Hey, it is a little overwhelming me right now. And I've had to have those conversations before. Um, I've had them before. They're not fun, but I'm willing to do them. And it's for the betterment of the relationship, the friendship, whatever it is, you know, worst thing can happen is they make a meme out of you. <laughs> yeah. A passion for so, weird movies. That's my take. Learning about others and sharing personal stories in a balanced way and not overdoing it is not an exact science. Noticing the line between opening up and oversharing requires practice and depends on the vibe of the conversation. One of the perplexities of life is that to get something, it can be helpful to convince yourself that you want it less than you do. In general, it's good to be laid back, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Do things for yourself without expectations, but also be open to. I I'm pedaling, guys, on my bike. I hope it's not obvious. Sure. And that's basically it. Give friendships more priority in your life. Check in with friends and regularly go. Today, to let to me read fun. the meter. Show genuine interest in others and give them the opportunity to know you without selling yourself too hard. Four hundred and three you today. This, you're on track. If this sounds a bit scary, the good news is that human brains are hardwired to seek connection. It's perfectly normal to seek out new friends, and there are many people who would want I have a death cycle, yeah. There are friendships up for grabs everywhere, and there are plenty of people who will be so happy See, to have you. I've actually found that these videos can be really, really helpful. This one was actually less helpful than some of the other ones. I don't know why, but this one I felt like had less Mm, less clarity you know it really didn't explain how to acquire friends it just said try to hang out with people around you and it's like eh, it's not that easy you know <laughs> yeah yeah and usually they're usually they're way better um at that kind of advice um so i don't know Horo, thank you for the 10 subbies. Damn. Thank you, gamer. I don't know why, but thank you. Here, which one of these depressing videos would we like to watch? Oh, this one was super interesting. Why we don't shoot nuclear waste into space. That one was interesting. I haven't seen quantum foam or bye bye earth or super volcano or the last human. What, what, what do you guys want to watch? The nuclear waste thing? Uh, it's a fucking stupid idea to, to throw nuclear waste into space for a million reasons. Um, 
And nuclear waste isn't as bad as we think. And we should probably swap to nuclear power was the general vibe. They did a bunch of math on it. Sure, Yeti, thank you for the five. Subbies, thank you. Thank you, gamer. What happens if a super volcano blows up? Y'all y'all want to watch the super volcano? Is civilization on the brink of collapse? The last human or the most extreme explosion in the universe? Y'all pick. Is civilization on the brink of collapse? The last human? Last human? I'm seeing a lot of last humans. Okay. Philo, the thank you for the five subs. Thank you. Gamer. Insecure, just like me. But humans have always thought they lived in the end times. Every generation assumes that Thank you for the 11 months for Sam's boy. And then life just Is it loud up. enough? This is a problem because it leads to short-term thinking and prevents us from creating the best world for ourselves and our descendants. What makes this worse is that we may actually be living at an extremely critical moment in human history. To understand why, let's look at the temporal window of humanity Wait. and ask, when will the last human be born? I want to watch the nuclear video. Can we watch it? I think it was a good video. But I don't know if I'm just remembering it wrong. Mm. Oh, this one's really good, actually. This one's a really good... The meat one is a very banger. Y'all want to learn about food production? This one's fucked up. This one's crazy. Food is arguably the best thing about being alive. No other bodily pleasure is enjoyed multiple times every day and never gets old. It's an expression <laughs> Wait, that, that, there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> there's a joke in there somewhere. It's a special nerve when we're told we should change what and how we eat to fight rapid climate change. One of the most delicious foods, meat, gets the worst press. It doesn't help that the topic is really hard to properly research yourself and that debates get emotional quickly. But clearly, science can give us an answer. Can we play God of War Ragnarok instead of watching vids? Mr. Infinity, if you can mail me a PS4 or PS5 right now, I'll purchase God of War Ragnarok and play it. Oh, and include uh, the stream, the stream deck thing, uh, the stream thing I need to stream it. Uh, yeah, yes. I expect it was at my door at the end of today. The reality is... Well, oh, you know what? Actually, here, let me show you. Did you guys know I got this? <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything with it. But can you guys hear this? Oh, shit. One second. Fuck. I greased my tracking. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't show it to you. It's unplugged. I can't show it to you. But I bought a piano. I finally got a piano again. My keyboard was too too busted to play anymore. Now I can play. But uh uh maybe maybe we can do a piano stream sometime. Yeah, yeah, I play piano. I play piano in the ocarina. One, does our diet really play that big a role in climate change? Feeding billions of people is impossible without causing emissions. Even if someday we have zero carbon tractors, refrigerators and cookers running on renewable energy, and electric trucks to move our food, there are still Yeah, Kekman, I can. Rice emits methane. I know the song. We cut down forests to make room for pastures and crops. And we emit nitrous oxide when we use fertilizers and manure. Worldwide food production is responsible for about 26% of all human-made greenhouse gas emissions, which is unfortunate since food is not optional. Wait. While 20 This video is really depressing about the food chain. Bubble Shadow, thank you for the tier and happy six months. I'm feeling very indecisive today. I do want to do a day where we go through all the Kyrgyzstan videos. 
but is today that day? Is today the Kyrgyzstan video day? If a super volcano blows up, we're all fucked. No, just you, Howell. I'm built different. <laughs> I'm built different. Uh, I... I won't get super volcanoed. Cosmic dragon things. <laughs> Listen. Today... Today... Today is a day of days. What were we... What even game were we supposed to play today? I, I don't remember. What were we playing today? Oh, observation party. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, we were gonna play, uh, gonna play spoop, spoop it a game. Spoop it a game. Where's your dragussi? It's right here. What What is this game called? Observation party. Bro, it, oh, observation duty. <laughs> Why did I think it was observation party? Observation duty. <laughs> observation party, bro. All right. Uh, okay. Listen, we'll, we'll we'll get back on that tangent sometime in the future. I'm sorry, this is a weird ass stream. Listen, I love you guys, and I I know it's rough out here. We can we can go through this together. We'll be okay. Okay? Everything everything gonna be okay. Um Every everything gonna be okay. Even if you're really shy like me. Thanks, Vienna. I love you guys. We love our streamers. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get the game up. Let's get the oh, and guys, I turned my PC to quiet mode. So it's not blasting my fucking ears 24 seven. Yeah. Enjoy the chats. Pog. Is this game scary? Is this a spooky? Let me see here. Mm. I'm a little... I'm a little concerned. By... I, I'm concerned... By what I am seeing. Uh, 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 uh. What is this fucking... <laughs> what is this? It's a little dang. Is the volume okay? I can make it lower, higher. Moglix, thank you for the tier and sub to I love her. Bubble Shadow, thank you for the tier and happy six of wands. Usain Boy, thank you for 11 minutes. Hot take, but lava doesn't look like it would have the texture of the brownie. Lava looks like cheese and I want to eat it. Volume good trig? Sounds fine. Am I loud enough? Okay. Are we ready for Spoopy? Um, you guys are probably gonna need gonna need to help me on this. It, uh, I'm not confident in my uh, what what's that um uh, what's that Wally game? You find Wally. You find uh, finding Wally. What's it called? Wally. Uh, Wall. Is it a Canadian thing? Where's Waldo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Waldo? Uh... The school. Waldo. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Oh! Even after his demise, we received reports of a haunted school. Please take care of it. Instructions will be provided. 
Okay. The school. Okay. Bathroom. Am I too big? Oh. Warning. Attention, employee. Anomalies have been previously sighted in the monitored area. Pay extremely close attention to the surveillance camera footage. File an anomaly report ASAP when you notice something has changed. Okay. Guanxi, thank you for the tear and happy nine months! Okay, okay, okay. Nothing here. Nothing there. Was that painting always the same? Nothing there. Everything good there. Everything good there. All looks good. Ah, oh, Am I supposed to remember this shit? Yes? Fuck. But it's too late. I, I already skipped. Was this always there? This guy in the painting? How about I just... Okay, this is office. Anomaly type. Picture anomaly. Did I get it? Elvis Dasher, thank you for the two and a half eight months. Oh, should I put on some spooky music? Here. Spooky, scary music. TK, thank you. I want, I want spooky music. Scary music. Okay, good enough. Okay. <gasps> the trash can's moving! Toilet. Object movement. Ta uh, you guys gave me that one. I'm sorry. Fixing? Okay. Okay. Mm. The chair? What? What chair? These chairs, shit, eat these, me, bro. I think I missed something. I, th I think I missed something here. How does the game work? It's like um, you're trying to see what changed um, between the scenes. Uh... Okay, sorry. Spot the difference game. Huh? 
<gasps> this is different. This, 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 this on the monitor. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Mm. Was that painting always like that? Was there always a volleyball net? Wait. I, I want to say yes. Uh, Jim. Extra object? Uh, well, no nothing? Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to move my mic. Sorry, those noises are from Spotify. Scary ambience. Sorry, I'm choking. Fuck. Why is there a camera in the bathroom? That's a really great question. I do not have an answer to that. Games Dean, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, TK. Happy nine months. Yo, thank you. Okay, scary music's good now. Turn it up a little more. Yeah, there we go. Now we're very spooked. We're very spooky. Oh, warning. This is an emergency warning. Oh. Oh. Okay. I... Oh, a chair's missing! Chair's missing! Chair's missing! I remember there was a chair! Uh... It should be object missing. Uh, ah, 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 ah! Yeah! There we go. This one, I don't think anything's wrong with this one. <gasps> There's a gun on the table! Did you see it? There's a fucking gun! Shit! Okay, okay. Uh, extra object. What's the story here? What's the story behind the fucking gun? Just a <laughs> It's just America, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. So what are these anomalies? Was there always a corridor that I was just thinking that Moglix. I I don't remember there being a corridor. Right? Didn't this look differently? Or am I crazy? I don't know if I'm crazy. There was Bro, I actually... I, I didn't think it was that long, bro. Alright, blue picture. Nothing in the gym has changed at all. A 
I'm trying to remember what the pictures were. Uh, was this always there? Was it, was this always here? This bag? Extra object. We about to find out. Chokan, thank you for the two, three, happy one year. Ah, so exciting to have you here, Chokan. I appreciate it. Oh, fuck. There's nothing. Bro, okay. Classroom two got some fucking pictures or some shit. Please. Let this be it. No? I just wanna say you are amazing Vienna. I'd oh. love having a friend as awesome Mo, as Galix, you. Mogalix, that's so Brand sweet. Thank you for the 500 Whoa. bits. Oh, thank you. Office? Office? Someone said office? Mm, what's wrong with the office? Was this paper here? The gym's always been like this. Right? Nothing's changed about the gym. Uh, was there always a gym? Yes. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention at the start. I think that's the issue. You know what? Maybe I should start over. I should start over because I, I didn't look enough. Here, let's try the apartment. Okay. 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 I remember. Weird, weird ass painting. Yeah, I, I remember. Paintings, paintings, teeth, teeth, books, mug. Toilet paper, washer, dryer. All right, chat. Memorize them all. Memorize them all. I'm counting on you. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened here? Oh, God. It just keeps going. Oh, my God. Hello? Hello? There are four men in the elevator. No, what? Okay. Bro. No shot. They're just ch they're just chilling out of the way. Ain't no way that's normal. I'm going to look and it's they're going to be gone. Someone, please. There are people in the elevator. Hmm, something seems off about this room. Let them live. No, oh, bro, it's creepy. Oh. Wait. Oh. But what? I didn't see a single one. Okay, one. Two. Oh, it's cuz I reported the people twice. <laughs> okay. Was the toilet seat up last time? No? Hmm. 
this this map this map too hard this 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 map too hard we go back to school we go back to school okay I can beat the school. I can beat the school. I'm convinced I can beat the school. Come on. I've now memorized the school. Was the gun always there? Uh, no, there's no gun. Where? Huh? Well, there's water bottles always there? Extra object. Yes? How are you guys so good at this? What the fuck? Come on. There's always be one gun per... <laughs> no, there should not be one gun per school, bro. Stop. One sec, I gotta get my feet in- I gotta get my feet in the cycle. Okay. I'm cycling. Hmm. Hmm. The pictures in the gym change, really? Okay. Running swimming golfing stretching biking waiting waiting chat remember those remember that order you think they've changed oh okay okay jim um picture anomaly Nope, 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 nope. Damn, you guys suck at this. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. Damn, that's crazy. All right. Ah. Bro, what the fuck? What is it supposed to be? This is the game. How? What? Am I missing something? Uh, Spoon, thank you for the turn. Happy 10 months. That's okay. Thank you, Spoon. The chair in the chess room. Oh, in the classroom. Okay, let me see. <gasps> it's... It's staring right at me. Holy fuck. Uh, damn, it, it turned around and look at me. Okay, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Do they only do one anomaly at a time? That's the order I remember the pictures being in, in the gym. <gasps> Was this projector always down? Wait, the bag the bag is gone. I was just thinking the the bag I, I remember the bag. I remember the bag. Nice. Okay. When things are missing, I think that's going to be harder than when things like show up. I'm not going to lie. I got my eyes on this fucking pamphlet here. Wait, I'm a bit too big here. Make myself smarter. Here. 
I, um, I'm sorry. We're taking the hood off. There. Is it, is it okay? Okay. A little more me, but less of the hood. Okay. Uh, who gave me the erect guys who who saito saito okay hmm hmm i've got these paintings absolutely fucking memorized there's no way i'll get them wrong Um, how many basketball? One, two, three. Lights? What do you mean lights? Oh! Distortion! Right? Distortion. It's distorted. Yeah, thank you for the two and happy 11 months. Oh, no, it's it. Sorry, sorry, guys. It's a different type of uh, lights. It just, it just looked like a, the screen's all messed up. I don't know. My bad. Okay. Mm. I'm staring at this brochure. When it's gone... I'll know instantly. You are cute when you make mistakes. Oh, Galix. Ah, thank you for the 500, bro. Thank you for the biddies. Hmm. Clock? What's wrong with the clock? Was I supposed to know the fucking time? Clock in the office? Huh? Ain't telling me I gotta remember the time on the fucking clock. Office. Um. What? Uh. Other? It's right? Okay. Never mind. The fan is spinning backwards? I feel like I feel like you're one guy me right now. Ain't no way the fan is fucking spinning backwards. <laughs> That's some bullshit. That's a big one guy. All right. The bathroom ain't ever changing. Hmm. Oh, oh, this painting changed. This painting, I, I, I know it. That's not what it looked like. It, it was something else. Yeah, it wasn't that ugly, ugly ass. Dude. The chain in the classroom, one inch to the right instead of one inch to the left, it's very subtle. <laughs> Trick. Trick. Don't do me like that. Shit. Okay, okay. When these changes, I'm gonna know. Hmm. Did that... Picture change? What is this? Was this always there? Was this random thing here? Uh, I don't recognize it. Yes? What the fuck is it? Oh, 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 ah, what is this? I don't like it! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. The fuck? Oh, what is it? What is it? Cla uh... Oh, this is corridor. Sorry. Uh, 
Is that an abyss? Did I do it? Oh! Uh, I did not like that one. I did not like that one at all. That was fucking freaky. This painting changed again. That's not the painting. That's not the painting. No, it didn't. Uh, yeah, it did. I swear. Oh. Okay, never mind. I, I, I was really, really. <gasps> There's a hot dog in the trash can. Oh my gosh! Someone took a fucking shit in the trash can. Who did this? I see you. Get that. Get that shit out of there. Get the glizzy out of the trash can. Frozen Flavado, thank you for the tier one. Happy seven months. Thank you, Frozen. Thank you. All right, well, what are we dealing with here? How do you die in this game, by the way? The balls at the zoo? Was it always that many? Yeah, it was four balls. It was always four balls. Four balls, I remember. Mm, too many unnoticed anomalies? Am I am I really fucking up? Donut, thank you for the five subs, Donut. Thank you. The other two balls. What balls? There, there's no way there's too many balls. These. <laughs> You fucker. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you just got me like that. I don't like it. Fuck you, man. Uh, you piece of shit. Oh, oh wait, what is this? Shit, someone's Steam notification is in the way of the report button. Uh, door opening, closing. Damn, I'm actually so good at- What?! Oh. I'm not f selecting the right fucking thing. I don't know what void means. Nice? Okay. Okay, it's looking good. Everything's looking normal. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's, sort of. Clueless. Was this bag always there? Zero, thank you for the two and happy one year. Was this was this bag always there? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm not liking the spoopy noises that are slowly building up. Uh, uh, oh, that's just my music. <laughs> that's the music I'm playing. Whoops, my bad. What? Well, what? What were they? What? What what could I possibly have missed? Like I honestly okay. This painting looks like that. Okay, I'll remember. This painting looks like those. The other two balls shut the fuck up, Trang. There were no other balls. Stop. There were no other balls. Fuck off. 
I can beat this. I can beat this. That painting's different. If you looked carefully, there was a Vienna in every room. Can't believe you didn't report that. <laughs> Monk, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. That's it. This, this, uh, I'm too good at this one. I think we should, I think we should try like a, like a, a different level. Uh, um, I'm just too talented at, um, at this, this, the school. Let's try the Metro. <laughs> this game is, it is, it's a hard game. Okay, magazines, a map. Two guys, pizza, station, no bills, exit sign, no exit. It's hard because what if I haven't seen the default one? Shorn, thank you for the tier and happy eight months. Thank you. What if I haven't seen the default one? Oh, the first 20 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. I'm on memory mode. Old woman, graffiti, papers. Old man, graffiti, garbage. This is just New York. Uh, map stuff. Bills, garbage, two scary men, pizza. Uptown, Digbeth Station, Crown Street Station, Caution Sign, Garbage, Creepy Man, Garbage, Maps, New York Metro Station. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Show me the changes. I've got a memory. Is this what San Francisco is like? Absolutely. Absolutely fucking exactly like San Francisco, I swear. All right, all right, show me the money. Yeah, anomaly me up. Shit. I don't see anything. Garb. Is this new? Ha! There was a... Was that bottle there? The train isn't new. Was the lady always so happy? I don't think she was that happy before. The escalators are going the wrong way. Are the escalators a decent? No. Old man garbage. Old lady. Papers. Bottle. Mm. Creepy guy. Maps. How shit am I if I can't find a single fucking anomaly in this one? How did I miss what? Kekman, what am I missing? Huh? The monkey? The monkey? Okay, okay. I, I see the fucking... 
I... The fucking plant! Uh... Surely you can fix the fucking plant! I really, I re can, how go back? I'm here. What's wrong? What's wrong, Kekmit? Tell me. Uh, what's wrong? Plank. This plank wasn't there before. You're fucking with me. To the entrance. Okay, I'm at the entrance. I'm at the escalators, Kekman. What do you want from me? What's right there? Is this... Shrinking? Oh. What? <laughs> well... well. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a little weird. That, that, that one could probably be fixed, bro. No? What? How do I... Bro, what is it considered as? Huh? It's going up again! Okay. I'm going to stare at this one. This is a briefcase. This briefcase is always there. I don't think so. Lobby. Extra object. Pretty sure that briefcase is new. Come on. Fuck. How about, how about this? Do you see this? This little... Uh, do you see the little... Uh, do you see that? It's like, uh... It's, um... Ah, uh, it's fuzzy. I don't know what you would call that, though. Uh, what would that be? Uh, distortion? <gasps> Sorry. I didn't expect that. But Horde, thank you for the prime. Happy two months. Fuck. Oh, I know. Man, what did I do wrong here? Bro. <sighs> I can't do this, bro. Okay, let's try. Let's try the house. Who, who made me dance? Which one of you fuckers made me dance, bro? This is not, this is not dancing time. Stop trying new maps? No, I I I want to try them all. All right. The text just says, um, what do you what have you guys done to me, bro? What have you guys done? <laughs> what have you done? You weren't always dancing, that's an anomaly. Yo.
yeah this game's a little uh it's a little too like like um like i'm fucking blind and this game is just <laughs> i'm fucking blind do you understand that guys <laughs> I'm blind! I can't. I can't do it. You've noticed. Don't say that. You're supposed to say, Oh, no, girl. You're so good at this. And you're doing a great job. And there's nothing wrong with you. You know? You're supposed to... I don't know. You're supposed to support me, you know? All right. Therns, thank you for the two, three, happy 16 months. Therns, thank you. Turn brightness up. You love me the way you are. Don't worry. All right. I know this one. Thank you for 500 bits, Nano Lather, and Mog, thank you for the 100 bits. Ah, stop! What are you guys doing? Stop! Man, this game's hard as fuck. This game's too fucking hard. Okay, it's starting. Four basketballs. Chair down. Most of them are up. These are all down except for that one. I'll remember that. I'll remember that one. Okay. Mm. Fucking death note on one of those uh, deaths over there. Is it always the same for everyone when they play it? Mm. Remember to wash your hands. The, was this door? The door. It it was open more. Maybe. I don't know if I. Mm. It was the door like that. No. But. Okay. I've memorized the chair positions, though. I've memorized that. I got that in the fucking bag. <gasps> Was this mug always there? <gasps> the PC, the PC. Office, office. Free! Great. Hmm. Oh, the chair, the chair, the chair. Uh, object movement. The chair is facing me with like a death stare. I remember this one. I cannot forget that one. Okay, next, 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 next. Hmm. Did this plant move? It looks a little more to the right. I don't know. No? I have all the chairs memorized. So if they start, they start fucking around. 
don't know. There are so many balls there. Guys, why do you... Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, why do you always talk about the balls? That, that's that's as many balls as there should be. Always, it's always the balls with you guys. Hmm. Do you guys see anything, bro? Do you, uh, do you guys see any shit? Because I ain't seeing fucking shit. Uh, the screen? Oh! Oh! Wait, wait! Uh, I saw two anomalies. Uh, office, uh, door opening, closing. And then the one that previously, there's a screen flashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saved? It's saved? Okay, and go back here. Screen, screens, screens are fucked in here. Classroom 2. TV monitor anomaly. They get it? No? The chairs. Nope, the chairs, the chairs are right. This is the way all the chairs are supposed to be. I remember them. Third stall looks normal. You saw it! You saw what, bro? The classroom one picture always like that? Yeah, it was. It was. Turn bright up. Okay, how's this? Hmm. Damn, now we can see everything, bro. It ain't oh, oh, the hot dog, the glizzy, the glizzy in the toilet. Ah, oh, nice. We got the glizzy. Got the glizzy out of here. Yeah, get that fucking glizzy out of here. All right. Uh. Hmm. Corridor. Was this always here in the corridor? I don't know. It was too fucking dark. I'm just going to give it a guess. I don't... I don't know if that was there. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what was fixed. I just picked the, the object. I don't know what was fixed. Uh... Let's go! We fixed something! Were these laptops always like that? Hmm... Hmm... The chairs are still in order. Oh, the, the fun! The gun! The fucking classroom gun. Yeah, we got that one. We uh, we see the guns, guys, right? Uh, Garrett, thank you for the tier one every six months. Y'all and your fucking guns, bro. Shit, what are we looking at? Someone brought their school supplies. Oh, is the music too loud? I can turn it down, by the way. Mm, a bit loud. Feel free to tell me at any time how you feel about anything that's going on. <gasps> oh. 
Holy shit. Uh, that clock's fucking... What the fuck is going on with that clock? It looks so fucked up. I don't know how I didn't notice. Yeah, I, I, I need to open my fucking eyes. I just keep thinking I'm looking for, like... Um... Like, non-moving objects. Let's stare at this one. Uh... Everything looks fine here. Two bottles in that one room. Let's look at the chairs. Chairs are still aligned properly. This this is a light disturbance. Yeah? Corridor, corridor. Light anomaly. Yeah. There are two sinks in the hallway. Weren't there always two sinks? The dragon on the bottom right is moving. Shut up. <laughs> nope. There were always two sinks. Hmm. Why does this song have snoring in it? I'm going to skip it. The snoring was bothering me. Uh, what changed about the office, do you think? I don't see anything different. Hmm. Little paper on the wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was always there. Yeah, Trey, you're you're based at this game, and you haven't seen any anything, right? Right. Oh. Okay, uh, what's this one? Camera malfunction? Uh, looking a little, little uh, sus here in the corridor. Oh shit, it's, um, I forget what it's called. Is it distortion? Okay. Good. Is the fan really swinging the wrong way? Surely that's not something you would report, right? The paintings? Oh yeah, those are the normal paintings. Mm. The chairs? Chairs are still good. Sorry for yawning. The chairs are still good. The TV. TV's normal. The screen. What's wrong with the screen? That's what it always said. Oh, maybe, um... It's not normal. It's different. What changed about it? It, it always showed the numbers. Garrett, thank you so much. Wait, what? How, how the fuck did you know that? How did you know? I'm actually like kind of kind of blowing blowing my mind right now. You have eyes? I have fucking eyes, okay? Yo, Donut! Thank you for the 10 subs, bro. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, I appreciate that, gamer. Thank you. Oh, light anomaly in the gym. 
Do you think we can beat it? Are we are we doing good? Are are we are we doing good, chat? Thank you for the ten fucking subs, Donut. Hmm. Kekmit, thank you for the gift of the Stardust. What's up, dude? Hmm. What do the hours mean? Just that it gets harder? Punch the anomaly in the face. I haven't seen any anomaly to, to violently attack yet, so... Hmm. Were there always people in classroom one? Excuse me? What do you mean, were there always people? There, there's no one in here, bro! What are you saying? Papers. Oh. Yeah? There were papers. You fucking scared me, dude. Did that just blink? I I saw I saw it blink. Right? Donalus, thank you for the day three happy eight months. Thank you. Schizo. That's not very nice to say to me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Floor change. Oh, fuck. I've never looked at the floor. The gym. What's the extra object? Oh, this. Oh, my God. Damn, they really just sneak that shit in there. They just uh, sneak it under your nose, bro. Wait, I thought it was this. What was it then? Oh, <gasps> the hoop is missing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you guys are so good at this. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, that seems like everything, right? Isn't this thing new? I swear this thing is new. Ain't this thing new? No. Ah, uh, okay. I think we're done with the gym then. Uh, chairs are good. Hmm. <gasps> oh, creepy fucking painting changed. Uh -huh. Bring back the booba painting. Bring back the booba. Thank you. The bag was always there. Hmm. Extra box in classroom two. This? This thing? I, th I think that's new. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was right. All right, classroom one. Y'all said something about the chair. Mm, these chairs are all right. This was all the, this was all the chairs. They, this one was all clear. This second one was only one. Third left. One, two, three. This? They were all left. 
Third right. Was always a skew? Uh, I think it was a skew. It, really, like, it would be a change that subtle that you wouldn't even... You, you couldn't even tell slightly? Because I remember the position of the chairs. Okay, yeah, yeah. The chairs are fine. You're going crazy. It's okay, Danny. I'm pretty sure you're already crazy. Don't worry. Don't worry, gamer. <gasps> the painting! Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't say that. Oh, sorry, gamer. It's okay. Everyone's a little crazy. Everyone's a little crazy. You know how it be, dude. You know how it is. Hmm. You're definitely crazy. Mm. <gasps> this painting's different! Ah, oh, I'm getting so good at this game! That painting's very, very different. And a lather! Thank you for the 500 bits! Damn, what the fuck? Golden Kaneko, thank you for the tier 3 happy 9 months! Serby, thank you for the prime comment. Thank you for 8 months. Thank you! Damn. So, so what happened? What, when, when you're close to beating this game? Oh! <gasps> Do guys jump out and try to scare you? There's a guy in the trash can. Get out of the fucking trash can, cringer. Yeah. Wait, what? Did you see that? I just saw something here. Am I crazy? Did you see that? I'm crazy. I'm fucking crazy. This isn't spooky enough music. I want the spooky. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. All the chairs are fine. Classroom one change. The browser on the laptop. Uh, this? Has an extra shelf. How the, f how the fuck? How the fuck would you see that, bro? How the fuck would you tell? Ain't no way you see that extra shelf, dude. Shelf the moved? It moved. I don't see it moving. King, thank you for the tier one. Happy eight months. Artemis, thank you for the tier three. Happy nine months. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Okay, y'all are wasting my my precious time. What does it say? Okay, so it's basically saying I'm shit and I need to fix it. Uh, 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 uh. I don't, I don't see anything. Net in the gym? What's wrong with the net? It's moving. Where? I, I don't see it moving. It's getting bigger. Am I blind? Oh, the volleyball net. Oh, I thought you meant like a basketball net. Oh! 
It was very big, actually. You're right. <laughs> My bad. Oh, that one's really okay. That one's really hard to see. You, you got. You gotta give me some, a little credit. <laughs> gotta give me a little credit for that one. Okay. Fuck. Ain't no way you thought I said basketball net. No, I just thought that when I heard net, I didn't initially think volleyball. Mug Alex, thank you for the 100 bits. That's what she said. Oh, shit. So can you beat this game? Can you beat this? Really hard when you scream? Uh, okay. Let me see. Uh... Okay, this should be better. Let me try screaming. Hello? 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 Is it peeking? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I love sh just shouting. Hello? Okay. Hello? Hi chat. Hi yo. Okay, so do we just keep beating our heads against this one or do we try a new one? Hi Vienna, hi. Hi yo. Looking cute as always. Damn, thank you. We aren't quitters. Is this beatable? How do I, how do I beat this? Is this beatable? Do I do I beat it? I just beat it all. Just just win. Shit, okay. It's a good thing I remember everything. Okay, the, the this is the hardest part. Okay, the net was huge apparently that I didn't see. Four basketballs, a couple here. Thing here, this is there, this over here, that there, that 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 here, that I uh, got it. I got it. It's that easy. Simple gaming. I don't even have to try. Watch a fucking expert work, okay? Watch a fucking expert. That's me. The expert. <laughs> Where is the expert? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. I am the expert. I got the chairs memorized. The TV one's going to be a bit hard. That picture changed, right? Raz, thank you for the tier one every 23 months. No, hey, wait, I was just testing you guys. Don't worry about it. I was just, <laughs> I, I, I was just, you know, seeing if you guys were paying attention. Uh, office, there is a missing chair and, and the door. And a door going crazy. I can only do one at a time, though. Okay, door. Strong smart start, yeah. Raz, hope you're having a great day, man. Thanks for stopping by. Gamer, appreciate you. Thank you, Mr. Raz. Thank you. I can't believe I missed the fucking volleyball net getting slowly bigger until it encompassed the entire fucking screen. How- how shit am I? Alright. What do we got here? Really shit. Good question. Guys, you're not supposed to actually answer that! Hey! Hey, you're not supposed to actually answer that! Hmm. Why are there... No way. 
why are there so many basketball nets? That seems like a lot. Hmm. I'm just going to do extra. Wait, do you guys see that? Oh, <gasps> what's going on? Is that abyss? The lights turned off. What do I get? Lights anomaly? Lights an uh, anomaly? Corridor. Fuck, that one's spooky, bro. Wait, it's abyss. Oh, it's coming closer. Do you know? oh! Bro! That's fucking scary. Jesus Christ! I'm just gonna go ahead and throw extra object here, see if I can catch anything that I don't know about. <laughs> Alright, there was nothing. Just gotta throw a little curveball. One of you nocturne just alted, bro, literally. Uh, okay, okay. Uh. Mm. Y'all are gonna need to help me when the TV is fucked. That's the one that's. <gasps> no, this is right. This game in VR? That'd be kind of cool. Was this painting always this ugly? I, I feel like. Uh... I feel like it wasn't this ugly. It was? Okay. Hmm. Anything moving? The TV has, has, the TV ha, ha, has more text. Yeah, I got it. I got it without checking chat. I did it. Are you are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? I figured it out without you guys. Yeah. Thank you. That plant. I feel like that plant's gonna move, and I'm not gonna notice. Hmm. Proud of me, son. Thank you. Mm. A quick ball check. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't ask me for a quick ball check, okay? Chat, I... I'm not participating in that. <laughs> Ball, ins <laughs> Ball inspection, bro. Stop! 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 The volleyball net is smaller. We can try it. Uh, Jim. Uh, I don't know what you would say. Other? What does the other button even do? Oh, it's the glizzy, the glizzy. Extra glizzy. The corridor changed? Okay, I'll look I'll look in a second. We gotta get the glizzy out of the way. Alright, the corridor. Oh I don't like it. Door closing. Aren't cameras in the bathroom illegal? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's a uh, turbo fucking illegal. <gasps> Y'all see this laptop turn on for a second or am I crazy? I think I'm seeing things. I, I'm literally hallucinating things. Fuck. Okay, uh, this is in the right order. <gasps> no, it's not. The bike guy wasn't second to last.
It is? Oh. I thought the bike guy was here and that guy was there. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. Uh... Hmm. Was the ball in the corner always there? Yeah, the basketball belongs there. The basketball belongs there. <gasps> oh, I don't. I don't like. I don't like this. This at all. I don't. I don't like that one. Flowers for her. Thank you for the prime every five months. Percy boy, thank you for the two three happy fourteen months. Holy fuck, I don't like that one at all. Saucy Amogus, bro. Anything weird going on here? Why does the screen look like that? Is it the lights? On a beach, on a hammock, watching a dragon girl very pug. What? You're at a beach? What the fuck? That sounds awesome. Are you on vacation or something, dude? Yeah, we could just throw an extra object in the corridor. I feel like that's a free... That's a free, free one you can try. Nothing? Guys, sorry I'm yawning. My sleep schedule's fucked up, but I, I, I streamed extra early to try to fix it. And, and I'll fix it for tomorrow, okay? Clock? Oh, the clock's moving! Mm. I see you. I see this fucking clock. Why do you guys make fun of how I say it? Because it's weird because... When you guys say it, I, I don't even remember how I say it. Tomorrow. I don't know. What? How do you want me to say it? What am I saying wrong? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Look at the paintings in the corridor. Look at the paintings in the corridor. Nix, thank you for the 500 bits. Paintings. There are paintings in the corridor. Oh. Oh. Thank you for the 500 bits. Oh, shit. You right. You're right. You're right, gamer. Thank you. What? You wrong, gamer. You wrong. No, thank you. Anti, thank you. <laughs> Unthanked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you for the bits. Sorry that that wasn't right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. The other two balls? No balls. Stop. The balls are not a problem. Wie eine shifting on here went <gasps> so fast. D. The fan stopped. You're right. Uh Object movement? The fan stopped. Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, office. What would you say? Other? Come on, the fans stop. <gasps> the chair. This chair should be right side up. Ah, I, I know this classroom. I know all the chairs. Uh, object movement. I know all the chairs. I don't need chat's help. Does the TV look right though? Oh, and the bag is missing. How's the TV look? I can't tell if the TV's normal. Nice. We're doing great.
Hmm. It's gonna be something in here. Right? Is anything moving? They make it so subtle the way it moves, too. It's actually really hard. They make it move so subtly. <gasps> the ugly painting! In Classroom 2, this fucking... The creepy... Creepy-ass... Uh, Long-necked giraffe guy. A swag messiah, bro? Ain't no way. Hmm. I'm really sus of here. I must be missing something here. Bag is here. Chairs are fine. Hmm. Classroom 2 extra books? Oh, yeah! The box! The box! I forgot! Classroom 2. Uh, extra object. You guys are base. I don't mean to yawn, chat! I'm so sorry! I, I wanted a stream for y'all today, but I'm so sweepy. Campy Campbell, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you for the hondo. Thank you. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna yawn and pass my yawn to you, okay? <clears throat> Where's it is it gonna come? <sighs> mm. Take that yawn. It's yours now. You can't give it back. You demon. <laughs> I'm not a demon. Uh, come on. I just wanted to share. I wanted to share my yawn with you. I'm going to go ahead and say something's missing in here. Because I, I, I don't know. My very own dragon yawn. Let's go, fog. Foggies. <laughs> Hello? I clicked it! Uh. What? I, I clicked it and now I kicked Entity. Oh, you can report things that you're not in the room of? Oh, I, th I thought you had to be in the room to report it. Phoenix, thank you for this with no yawning. Fuck, that really got me. Ah. No. Oh, that one really got me. It's just a guy standing. Yeah, but it's a surprise guy standing. I didn't expect him to be there. That's the problem. Oh. God damn it. This game is too, too much. This game be too fucked up. Chat. One more time. Do we try one more time? The last, the last time. Okay, this is it. We're gonna beat the school. Uh, we're gonna beat the school. Come on. We're gonna beat the fucking school. The longest you've ever been on Twitch in your life. What's up, Zedric? 
What's up, gamer? Why was there a scary man? I don't like that part. Oh, I can use the arrow keys. Oh. Oh. I just learned. Sorry, I don't mean to. Okay, okay. I'm memorizing the gym. Memorizing the photos. Memorizing this stuff. Classroom, that, that, that. I got it. I got it all. It's all up here in my noggin. Did I get, get a, a seizure? No. Thank you for the cat ears. Thank you. Guys, I can't wait for you to see the next Vienna and the Vienna after that. Ugh. They're looking so good. Next, Vienna. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's perfect. She's amazing. The Vienna after that, she's sexy and powerful and scary. And she'll kill you. She'll step on your neck until you die. So many great Viennas are coming. Finally. <laughs> It'll be really great. Oh, you just got here? It's too late for you, buddy. Sorry. How many Viennas will we have? Uh, two Viennas coming. Three Viennas coming. Four Viennas coming. I have four Viennas planned. I have a spooky Halloween Vienna. A summery spring Vienna. A goddess Vienna. And a cyberpunk Vienna. That's all the Viennas coming. Mommy Vienna. They're all mommy. They're all mommy. Because that's what I do. Is I, I, I take the money you guys give me and I spend it on more Viennas. <laughs> Not quite ideal, but... Chat, if we distract Vienna from the game, she actually does well. What do you mean? Huh? The game's too slow. I'm just going to wait for more more entities to show up. Like, hurry up, man. I already dealt with so much shit. Vienna-verse? Yeah, yeah, there is a Vienna-verse. Uh, I actually never did a lore video on, like, what, what Vienna is. You know, wh where's the star dragon come from? What makes them a star dragon? But, um, that's coming. That's coming. The Vienna verse. <gasps> the chair. Office Lady Vienna. No, but, you know what? You know what? Just for you guys. Just for you guys. I'm gonna do something special for you, okay? Just for you. Are you ready? Oh God, why is this taking me to this very suspicious website? Man, I have to do a fucking capture to download this PNG. Okay, okay. Let me see, let me see. Please be a real PNG and not a fake one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Here, how do I... How best to... Do you make the glasses big? Do you make them small? 
Okay. I'm I'm nerd Vienna. We're fucking gaming. I lost the game. Okay. Uh We waited all that time and nothing changed. The hell? Oh, light. Light in the gym. Yeah. Tell us what one plus two times three is. Okay. Two times three. Six plus one, seven. Damn. We really out here. Uh, quick math. This looks different. Nah, it looks the same. Hmm. The ventilation system in the gym? What about it? What about it? What's it doing? Among Us? Uh, among, among Us? Oh, wait, Lila. Nope, that's right. Um... Mm. Office picture, uh, office picture. What changed? You meant classroom too? You fuckers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I did miss that one. It's, it's. It's Viego, the ruined king, bro. <laughs> hmm. All right, all the ch oh, the TV, the TV, yeah, 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 yeah. TV, TV. Ah. Uh, uh. Ah, we're so good at this chat. Thank you. Thank you for helping me chat with this very, very important task. We're protecting the people. No problem. Thanks, Pajama Monster. I knew I could count on you. I just knew it. Hmm. Classroom one? What about classroom one? The bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bag's supposed to be there. Uh. Who we got? Who we got? In classroom two? Yeah, that's what the coffee cup looked like. Uh, from what I remember. Guys, we're missing anomalies. Where could they be? They better not be a fucking guy standing there. I'm gonna scream. What could they... Oh! <gasps> Oh shit, office, 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 door opening, closing, easy. Did you see it, chat? Did you see it? Door, pock. Shit. We are here. Okay. Oh, Myra, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. Thank you. 
<gasps> oh my god, the balls are moving. It was the balls this time. Thank you. Thank you, Myra. I hope you had a great stream. Nice to meet you, gamers. I hope you are having a fun time. We're trying to play this crazy picture game. The balls finally moved. The prophecy was true. Brawless raid. Bro, I, I don't raid I don't ever wear my bra while I'm streaming. I'm lucky if I'm wearing pants, bro. I'm comfortable. Comfortable as fuck. It's it's not good to wear your bra all the time, guys. I know I know I know there's a lot of men in this chat. But um, you're not supposed to wear your bra to like bed and around when you don't need it, cause um, it causes problems with like your muscles and shit, and like, uh, it's not good. Pants? Well, I have like like I mean like um, like uh like joggers or jeans, you know. I I got comfy I got comfy gamer shorts that I wear. You ain't need to know that. What? What's wrong with lear learning a little bit about about what women go through, okay? You know, uh, what what's wrong with that? Uh, learn nothing wrong with learning a bit about women, okay? I think this is a light anomaly. Why would you wear clothes your dragon you have scales? Dragons wear clothes, silly. You can say boxers. Well, yeah, they're like girl boxers, I guess. They're very comfortable. Guys, we're clearly missing something. Chat, I don't want to lose. The corridor a bit longer. Maybe the... Oh, the paintings look wrong. Yeah, the balls are always in the middle of the... Oh, I was right about the painting. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Office box? Where's the box? I don't see an extra box. This is the office. Oh, oh I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Great job. Anything sussy here? Ah! Sorry. There is a intruder in the bathroom. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ! He had no clothes on! What was that about? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Bro was taking a piss, bro. So I got to turn this spooky music down. He was about to stream. What, uh, what are you trying to say? Uh, I feel like it has to be the gym. We always miss things in the gym. Oh, 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 oh. Quarter, quarter. Uh, distortion, right? I got it. Aether, thank you for the tier and happy one year. Thank you so much, gamer. Jim is distorted too? 
I don't think it's distorted. Is it the light distortion? Extra paper in the classroom one. Uh, okay, we can try it. Maybe. You guys want the hood? Okay. I'm a nice gamer. You can have the hood. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. What else? Projector in class one? Something looks fucked up here, but is it the light? Is it a light? Cause so it looks all fuzzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Fog. Thank you, chat. We got it. Uh. Hmm. Nothing with the gym. Like, we're clearly missing something with the gym. Right? Was this always there? Let me try extra object in the gym. Uh, extra object. It looks the same. Bench right side missing. Okay, I'll try object disappearance then in the gym. I guess, I guess we'll try the lighting too. Oh, I saw you, you little, uh, you little can. Get the fuck back. The balls on the floor are backwards because soccer ball is supposed to be closer to the net. <gasps> oh. The balls are in a different position. Oh. Kick me. Let's see. Wrong! Wrong ratio. You little pooper. You suck. <laughs> you suck. The net, the net. Oh shit, it's doing it! No, the gym. Uh, what do I, what do I pick? Which one do I pick? Uh, uh, distortion? Ah, it's getting so big! Stop! Kinker, thank you for the prime! Happy 15 months! Lestoria, thank you for the 2 3 happy 5 months! Finally, we caught the fucking net, bro. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. I don't know how it's so hard to catch the net fucking growing like that. The plant moved in the corridor? Oh yeah, I do see that. Uh, corridor. It should be... Object movement? It's getting so big. Stop, Vienna 2022. Thank you for the fiber bits, Mog. <laughs> One of the bins was shaking. Extra object? We reporting? Ah, yeah, there we go. We're gonna beat it. How do you beat this, by the way? How do you win? When does it stop? The chairs are all good. 
6 a.m. Oh. <gasps> oh, I see you. Uh, object movement? Ah, uh, you can cl close that fucking stall. What? Uh... Other? Oh, door. It's a fucking door! Vienna! Great stream, Vienna. I love your mm. voice. Cutest dragon I know. Leak sometime? Oh, thank you, Mog. Thank you for the 500 bits. Oh, cutest dragon. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Mog. How did I forget this was a fucking door? Yeah, they've always been static in Classroom 2. I mean, we can try it, but I don't think this is one of them. We tried Light Anomaly, maybe? The computer room? No, no, no. There were always two bottles here. You mean here? There were always two bottles. There were always two bottles. Oh, painting, painting. Uh, office picture. One of the laptops changed shape? What? It changed shape! What do you mean? Change shape. Whoa. There is a intruder in the corner. <laughs> Parker, thank you for the tier three. Happy seven months, Parker. Thank you. Holy fuck. Whoa! Which room is that? Office? Bro, are we almost there? Why are there so many of these? Get out of my shit, please. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Picture here? All the pictures look fine here. Okay, uh... uh object movement? I think this is the light, right? Light anomaly? I think that room is fine. I think y'all are gaslighting me. All the chairs in here are fine too. I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. The apple's fine. The apple's always been like that. Death note missing. No, death note's right here. It's there. Painting in class one. I think this is the right painting. Bag's supposed to be on the table, silly. Too much text on the screen. I don't think that's true either. We'll see. We'll see. Chair's moving. C2. You don't even see C. You don't even see C two, huh? The I'm getting I'm getting gaslit. Where? I don't want to see a difference, bro. I didn't see a single difference. I'm just gonna try in the corridor, extra object, and object missing. Cause fuck if I know anything about the corridor. Maybe picture anomaly in the corridor. 
Oh, the bench is gone. You're right. One more hour. We can do this. We can. We can feed it. Yeah, there was a bench. It was there. The floor? What's wrong with the floor? Light classroom 2? Okay. I'll trust you. I'll trust you, chat. Nothing. Nothing! Your disappointment. Painting C2 upside down. <gasps> True? Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Mm. Other and C2? Other? Why? Why? What's the other? What do you think's wrong? The floor? Oh my god! The floor was different! I, I didn't even notice! I ain't even noticed, chat. Damn, you guys are fucking smurfing it, dude. Y'all are crazy. In the gym? In the gym? Radiators in the gym? Oh, there's an extra radiator. Yeah, you get back in there. Uh, the toilet door is supposed to be closed. No bottle in corridor. It's there. Bottle's there. Come on, we can do this. No gun this time. Are we close to beating it? Office clock? Office clock's doing fine. Mm. Gym? I don't think there's anything in the gym. Oh, a hoop! Oh, the hoop! The hoop! You're right, you're right. The gym... Object disappearance. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, this hoop. This hoop. It's gone. Ah! Good job. Good job, chat. Good job. This this is a joint effort. We did this together. We did this together. There's going to be one more fucking guy standing somewhere to jump scare me. I just know it. Mm. Do I have to get all the anomalies by six? Yeah, the picture change in C1. True, true, true. Nice. What is that? What is that? Is that is that my my Spotify? No, it's not. 
Oh, we did it! Yeah! Shit. This game is hard. Holy fuck, this game is hard. Wow. Let's go! I'm proud of us. I'm actually... I'm actually beyond proud of us, chat. I... I did not foresee us being able to, to complete any of them because it seemed really hard. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm gonna, uh, end stream here. Uh, it's a short stream today. Um, here, let me close this game. Short stream today, uh, cause I am fixing my sleep schedule. Um, and it got a lot done. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, but we will, uh, we will just have a great stream uh, tomorrow. I don't know what I'm planning yet. That's why I played that game today. I was looking for something that just one off and stupid. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm streaming yet, but hopefully something fun. Uh, it'll be around 9 a.m., 10 a.m. EST again. I want to stream in the morning. Uh, I want to keep that as my schedule. Oh, and great news, everybody. Um, so I will be adapting to a strict schedule every week. It'll likely be Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and then Friday, Saturdays, with Sunday, Monday off. That might change to um, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, with a Monday, Tuesday off. I don't know. But I'm going to get like a strict schedule going, so it'll be easier for everybody to keep, to keep up with when I'm live and stuff. But yeah, I want to make it easier for you guys. Okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. It was so nice seeing you today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Oh, we could raise somebody. Let me ra raid, a, raid a gamer. Hmm... Who shall we raid? We can raid, uh, how about Rose Doodle? Okay. Bye. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.